hey guys so today i want to share a really interesting tutorial with you all it is a tutorial for creating short story books by using chat gpt and you can publish it on amazon kdp this is a tutorial by danny on demand i will give a link in the description you guys should check it out it is probably one of the best tutorial i have seen to create fast ebooks or kindle books for uh, you know amazon and uh, you can use chat gpt for it now if you guys don't know about amazon kdps it is a service where you can publish your books on amazon you have to use chat gpt for it now chat gpt i have already shared my experience with chat gpt and uh, you can use chat gpt for a lot of stuff and uh, as you can see so there was a tutorial i shared a couple of days ago for using chat gpt for the purpose of keyword research and seo this particular plugin or extension what we were using aiprm has updated so i hope you guys are using this because it will help you with your content let's just discuss about this tutorial this tutorial is really good for anyone who want to work on amazon kdp and you want to create short storybooks it's actually very simple you have to just write write a you have to just do a command write a short story or uh, let's just say motivational short story i'm giving you just one command i highly highly recommend to check out his video because it's pretty great motivational short story for kids age 5 to 10 years right so it's good short story most of the time they read these kinds of books and it's really good or you can just you know it's pretty good so let's just start and uh, it's gonna write a book or oh, my bad write a, write a story and uh, you can use these stories uh, for your amazon kdp and uh, kdp book now with that you have to do one more thing it is plagiarism check because without plagiarism check it's not smart to publish on amazon or anywhere else so let's just go here and once again guys i have learned all this from his tutorial so i will highly recommend you guys to check out because he has discussed some stuff about keyword research too and uh, i recommend you guys to check that stuff because it's very important if you want to do good in amazon or anywhere online nowadays because of the competition it's very necessary to know if you are using the right niche or right topic to work on so let's just see plagiarism checker it's taking a little bit of time copy paste this put it here so i highly recommend to read the story too before publishing or even checking for plagiarism because most of the time it does make sense but uh, if you want to check change the story a little bit you want to make it a little bit more interesting or put some of your own twist in the story that will be really great because at the end of the day it will give more originality and uh, more you know personal care to your stories and that's always better so now let's just check here quickly checker it is detecting there's a scanning for plagiarism now let's see so there are some ai detection tools too available nowadays so i will show you some ai detection tools with it detection tool or i will share in the next video because at the end of the day ai detection is something that is uh, in another topic on its own and uh, that's something that i want to discuss in another video because it is very important to know there are ai detection tools available nowadays that will check your website or video content if it's written by an ai it is taking a lot of time though for some reason all right guys so it's 100 percent unique and uh, all right these advertisements for god's sake all right so this is 100 percent unique and what we are going to do is we are going to finish this video here and uh, i recommend you guys to check his video out because i've learned this trick from him and uh, i recommend to you know go and follow the process and uh, one more thing if you are using chat gpt to write your content i recommend to always check read it through and put your own twist and uh, 
put your own spin on the content because at the end of the day it is better to write your own content don't rely totally on the ai because there are some ai detection tools available nowadays so that's gonna be a problem if you just copy and paste the ai content and that's all there is to it it's not very complex just to make sure that you follow the tutorial step by step that's what i'm going to do i've just found this tutorial i will be using it in my own kdp books or blogs and content and stuff so that's all there is to it thanks for watching guys thank you